opinion polls look good for independence, with the correction of earlier errors illustrating the true strength of the yes vote. And another new poll giving a lead. While my colleague Alan Dorns highlighted the constitutional inconsistency of the union, which guarantees Northern Ireland a referendum every seven years while ignoring the wishes of Scotland. Subject to certain conditions being met, the Northern Ireland Act of 1998 allows for the Secretary of State of Northern Ireland to call a referendum on Irish reunification and for Northern Ireland to leave the United Kingdom within seven years of a previous referendum. These conditions for a referendum have all been more than met in Scotland since the independence referendum in 2014. The only certain way out of this constitutional logjam is with an SNP majority after the elections in May. So make it both votes SNP. Make sure your vote counts. Make it both votes SNP. And if you haven't applied for a postal vote, you need to do this by April the 6th. The deceptive nature of the UK government was exposed with questions over its publicly paid pro-Brexit advertising, much of which was masquerading as news features and targeted at Scotland. In government-sponsored ads on the alleged success of Brexit, the same three or four companies have been highlighted in at least 16 newspapers throughout the UK. In the votes in Parliament this week, I voted for tighter controls against deals with countries committing genocide during the latest trade bill votes. This week started with a wide-ranging debate on COVID-19, where I made the case for continued support being given to businesses and individuals. With health measures and COVID restrictions being devolved matters, I stress that while restrictions continue in any part of the UK, support must as well. And the week ended with the one-year status report on the coronavirus situation, where I repeated calls for tighter border restrictions to prevent the import of new cases into the UK. I can't stress this enough. Tougher quarantine restrictions for incoming travellers is a scientifically sound, sensible and overwhelmingly publicly supported option. The Scottish Parliament has offered a 4% pay rise to the NHS, which shows what can be done with an SNP government. Westminster is in recess until after Easter. So I'm taking a break from the vlog. Until then, stay safe.